let me tell you a little bit about another room we did for the same client. Um, actually, we did this room for her little daughter, who's a fearless, cute little girl who did not want to have a girly room. She loves Africa and she loves African animals and safari. And um, she wanted a room that was inspired by those themes. So what we did here, we created a little room that kind of looks like a luxurious tent in a high-end lodge um, in Kenya or Tanzania. We created this wonderful canopy bed. This bed actually used to be just a four post bed and we created those custom pieces to create this canopy out of an existing bed. We created those beautiful see-through linen drapes so when Evelyn goes to bed she can actually close her little tent and be all safe on her little African safari right here at home. Uh, Evelyn loves blue and she gave me a very specific shade of blue that she wanted to have and so we created this beautiful bedspread for her using her favorite shade of blue. You see that same blue here in this pillow and in the drapery we found this really, really funky chocolate brown trim, which is very girly, but it's not one of those very traditional um, old trims that you would find um, in you know, 1980s designs. This is really fun and fresh and, and, and very girly. Uh, we obviously wanted to use animal print, and we went to this beautiful Ralph Lauren fabric on this custom Charles Stewart chair. Um, it came with an ottoman, and we had the ottoman actually covered in a faux leather, which is a faux alligator leather. Very appropriate for an African trip. Um, let me see you here. Uh, we used the same pattern fabric on her little pillows. We found those really, really beautiful polished nickel um, sconces. They're swing arm sconces. Evelyn loves to read and um, she reads in her bed. So she needed those for her, um, for her night's, nighttime stories. Uh, this beautiful mirror I just love. It's, you know, it's not really a practical mirror, but it creates this beautiful play of light. And it's such a beautiful little accent here. Uh, take a look at the walls. This beautiful wall treatment here. Uh, we didn't want to paint the walls. We wanted to do something with a little bit more texture and interest to it. Um, this wallpaper, it's a grass cloth wallpaper from Philip Jeffries. I think that what it does in this room is really creates this kind of very organic feel. It kind of takes you outside, even though you know you're inside. It's also a great little trick you can use if you have uneven walls. Um, this um, wallpaper, because of its texture, hides all kinds of sins. So if you don't feel like fixing up your walls or repainting and patching them up, um, get yourself a roll of grass cloth paper and, um, and you're good to go. Uh, while we're here, let me show you this beautiful mirror. Again, um, this is one of our favorite vendors, company um, Made Goods, and they make beautiful, unique, um, large, statement kind of mirrors. Um, this, is, this piece is just stunning and again works with all the textures and all the different colors and shades of brown. I love it and look at the texture and the, and, and the shape of it. It's very, very unusual. Um, this dresser actually um, is Evelyn's old dresser. We had it painted. It used to be um, brown and it was stained. We actually had it painted in um, our shop. Uh, we use this beautiful off-white lacquer finish to give it a nice sheen. And take a look at these little guys. We found those beautiful um, handles, the beautiful pulls, and they're zebras, Evelyn's favorite. Um, I think this room really, really came together very nicely. One last piece I want to show you is take a look at this table. It's a um, very cute little accent table. Again, you can put um, your cup of tea or you know a drink of juice as you're reading in your favorite comfy chair. What I love about it, obviously, it was beautiful lion feet. It's such a unique um, and fun piece that really transformed this room into um, this, this wonderful African adventure. So this really what we what we try to um, accomplish here is to give Evelyn this uh, this feel that she's always on vacation and it's her favorite spot. It's um, in Africa. Mm -hmm.